Yo, what is popping, my guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're actually gonna be telling the story about how I got shot in the back with, um, how do you put it? You know, a, a Daisy BB gun, yeah. That was pumped up exponentially, an exponential amount. It was not fun. It was not funny, it, it, but I'm gonna try and put as much humor into it as I can. I'm also gonna try and extend this to 10 minutes so that I can <laughs> get the YouTube part, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, so what, what had happened was we had these Daisy BB guns and we were shooting at, like, cans and stuff. I got bored of shooting at the cans, um, and decided, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go shoot up at birds in the front yard. So that's what I did. I, I, I took, I took the BB gun and I started pumping it up. I, I was very weak, so, you know, um, the most I got it to was about, like, uh, like, five pumps, and that, that was on a good, that was on a good day, and, um, after I had pumped it up as much as I could, I had shot at a bird, and so I, I would load it up with one BB, because it was like, it was like one where you had to cock it back, put one BB in, and then cock it forward again, kind of like a sniper, um, and so, I had pumped it up, I had cocked it back, I had put the BB in, I had, it was ready to fire, and I just shot at birds, that's all I did, and my little brother came over, and he said, hey, uh, can, uh, I shoot at birds, and so I was like, you know what, I might as well, because otherwise, I'm just gonna get, you know, obliterated by my parents, saying, why didn't you let him shoot it, and so I'm gonna have to explain to them I was shooting at birds, and I really didn't want to say that, and so, um, they had freaking figured out that I, they had figured out that I was shooting at stuff in the front yard, and the only reason they figured that out is because after I had been shot, I ran inside, um, here's how I got shot, basically, I gave the freaking rifle to my little brother, and I was like, here you go, go, go buck wild, and so instead of him shooting up at birds like I thought he was gonna, I don't know why I thought this, but, um, you know, uh, uh, he he uh, got got a little bit out of hand and decided to point it at me. And after he pointed it at me, the entire all I was thinking was, "Please don't shoot me! Please don't shoot me! Please don't shoot me! Please don't shoot me!" And I said, "No, no, no! Don't shoot at me! Shoot at the birds!" And he looked at me. He laughed and he was like, hey, 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 hey. "He didn't really do that, but you know, uh, it, it was terrifying. I know." I know, true, true story, not clickbait at all. But he shot me in the back, and my squeal was so loud. You could probably hear it in Mexico. I'm not even lying. People in Mexico were like, huh? Like, it, it was it was a high-pitched one, too. Like, like, not many humans could hear it, but the people who did were like, what? And all the dogs in my neighborhood are going, huh? That, that's how loud it was, you know? Or how high-pitched it was. And so, I had screamed and ran inside, and when I ran inside, I don't know if you guys can know, can know this, but whenever you run inside screaming, the, the first reaction isn't, oh, wow, look at them just having a normal day, you know, living out the life of uh, a little eight-year-old. No, 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 that's not exactly what happens. I run inside freaking screaming, crying, with uh, me yelling, he shot me, he shot me, ah! And so, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's not a good situation for anyone. Um, anyone in the situation was terrified, and uh, so was I. Basically, um, so basically, after I was shot, I, I ran inside, I was screaming, my parents were worried, my little brother was crying, like, eh, show my bubba, show my bubba. Let, let, let's be 100% honest here. If you just shot your brother, I, I think you're gonna you're gonna be crying. Like, let's be 100% honest. And uh, he shot me, and then when he shot me, uh, we ran inside. I told my parents, oh, Laguerre shot me. And so they, they didn't get on to him, because obviously he's like, freaking, what, like five? He, did, he didn't know any better. No, please, don't, don't, don't get mad at him. He didn't know any better. Yes, he does. He knew better. I was five at one point. I, I think I knew this stuff. I know what goes on in the mind of a, of a little freaking five-year-old. I'm not entirely retarded. He, he meant to do it. He aimed at me, and he's like, The less competition, the better. I will be the favorite. Uh, so I'm worried that I'm gonna die. Oh, God. 
Uh, sorry, it choked on my own spit. Uh, I'm worried that I'm gonna die. That's, that's literally my words I said to my parents. I was like, am I gonna die? Uh, while we're in the bathroom, while they're checking out my back. And they're like, I think it just m barely missed you. Like, it just gr grazed your skin. And I'm sitting there. Excuse me? It did? Like, it did? Really? Really? Can I just go back outside and play? Oh my god, this is in the, in the miracle! Uh, yeah. But, I'm thinking, oh, thank god, it didn't hit me. And they're like, oh, no, it hit you, it's in your shoulder. And I go, uh, like, like any sensible person would do. And... While I'm crying, everyone else is trying to calm me down, like, oh, no, it's not that bad. Uh, you're fine. Uh, which, remember, I, I'm eight. I'm eight in this situation. I think the last thing going through my mind is, yeah, it's just a BB. No, nah, nah, what's going through my mind is, oh, my God, I got shot. I'm going to die. I'm going to bleed out to death. I'm going to die. I'm going to uh, No, it wasn't, it wasn't going to be that bad. But uh, in my mind, it, it was going to. In my mind, it was going to be terrible. And I was going to die. And I was never going to see the light of riding a bike ever again. Uh, yes, I, I know it's surprising. I actually went outside. And so, while this is all going down, everybody else is freaking out, and we decide, okay, so we're just gonna leave it in there, nothing bad can come of it. it let's be 100% honest. I, I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I, I thought, I really did. I believed in my, in my little 8-year-old mind that... <sighs> that... Okay, so basically, what I believed was that I was going to go to the ER, they were going to tell me it's stuck in there, you can't get it out. It, it's never going to be the same, you're never going to never gonna uh, uh, um, be able to walk again. Yeah, that, that's, that's basically what went on. And I'm thinking the entire time, oh no, no more riding bike, no more, no more nothing. No more, no more Levi. This is sad. Alexa, play Despacito. And... Uh, it was terrifying. I absolutely sharted uh, when I heard those words of ER. Last thing I'm thinking is, oh uh, yeah, I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna be fine. No, I'm thinking, ah, oh, bloody murder! Ah, I'm gonna die! Ah, ah. <coughs> 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 Sorry for me dying. It, it just comes naturally, you know. Just naturally dies. <coughs> nah, but, like, a couple months later. Yeah, I think it was, like, two months later. Yeah, yeah, Two months later, we had decided we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna cut the middleman, and we're just gonna cut it out my back. Uh, because we're not doing, dealing with it anymore. So my dad gets out his razor blade. And, uh, I don't know why my dad thought that, oh, yeah, cut it over his razor blade. He, he'll be fine. He won't even feel it. So, what he, he made me an offer, and it's an offer that can't be turned down, okay? He offered me that if he let me cut it out, that he would give me $20 if I cried, and only 10 if I didn't cry. So, me, being how I am, money hungry, and wanting everything to be, uh, perfect sunshine and rainbows while I get paid for it, Thanks. Okay, this is a bargain, but it pro it probably won't hurt that bad because he's gonna pay me extra if it does hurt that bad. It can't be that bad. So I take the deal, Id idiotically, you know. I take the deal, and my dad gets out his razor blade, and it's just like, all right, let's get to cutting. <laughs> Takes his razor blade and cuts right where the BB is, and because it had been in there for so long, it was going down just like in into me. Don't take that in the wrong way. Don't take that out of context. Context. Did I really just say context? Oh my god, I'm a terrible person. It, 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 whatever. It's fine. But he... The BB was like underneath the tissue. It, it, was, it was bad. And so my dad took his razor blade and just started cutting in. And the first couple of seconds, it's like, okay. It's not too bad. Everything's gonna be fine. No one could possibly... Uh, um, offer 20 bucks and have it, uh, you know, feel bad, that, that would, that's impossible, and so I take, he takes the BB out, and so before he's getting the BB out, he's cutting into me, and while he's cutting into me, I'm sitting there, I'll still, 
you know, just sitting there worrying about, oh no, it's going to fucking hurt. And then he cuts a little bit too far in and all hell breaks loose. My voice is gone. There is no chance of me ever coming down from that because let me tell you, after... After you have a BB cut out of you, I think Daisy BB guns just give you Vietnam flashbacks. It's like whenever you you were, it's like whenever you put popcorn in the microwave at a nursing home. It's it's not it's not a good reaction. So while all this is happening and while they're they're getting it out, I'm still crying with my eyes closed, full of tears, still thinking, oh no, he's still cutting into me, and this is so terrible, I'm gonna die. Because of him cutting into me. Little did I know, oh, I'm actually, you know, pretty pretty good in this situation. I don't think anything could possibly happen. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm crying, and it is, it's already out. Like, the baby's already gone. Nothing, nothing else has gone bad up until this point. He, he shows me the baby, and I'm thinking, oh, okay. And because it had been inside for so long, it, it went in silver, right? And it came out rusted, gray, and it, it just wasn't, it just, it just wasn't, you know, good. It, to be 100% honest, it looks like a, a hairball that a kitten spit up after having 16 bottles of champagne on a weekend. And so... It, it didn't look good. It it wasn't. It didn't feel good. Nothing. Nothing about this experience was good, other than the the twenty bucks. But after that, I got paid ten dollars, and I was like, "Boy, you just cut me in the shoulder. I'm not getting ten dollars, and you're getting away with this." And uh, he gave me ten dollars, and he said, "I'll pay you ten dollars later." And so, because I'm a little sneaky boy, I said, "Hey, Dad." You never pay me my ten dollars like uh, a week after. Pay me ten dollars, right? And so after like a month or so, I had said, "Hey, Dad, you remember how you cut that BB out of me?" Yeah, you never paid me the the extra ten dollars. So he gave me another ten dollars. I know I'm an absolute freaking uh, genius. I know it's crazy. <coughs> <coughs> And I did it one more time, I think. I think it was, like, three months after. I was like, Dad, why didn't you ever pay me my $10 for for you cutting out the BB out of my shoulder? And he's like, oh, oh yeah. And then, and then he paid me $10 again. So I'm thinking, I can't get away with it again. There's no way. Uh, it's been a long time since then. I could probably still get away with it and be like, hey, Dad, why didn't you ever pay me that $10 for cutting out the BB out of my bag? I could probably do that right now. I'm not going to, though. But, uh, thank you guys for so much for watching this story. I think I've got, like, one more story that involves me getting hurt. I know how much you guys just love the fact that I get brutally hurt. Because you guys show love and support on the videos, you know, by... Uh, I don't even know, by just leaving a like and viewing them. If you don't give me views, I'm gonna be sad. Uh, no joke, no scam. If you don't give me a view right now, and if you don't comment, comment in the comment section right now. You're actually gay. And uh, I'm going to eat your onion rings. Uh, no joke, no scam. Uh, just do it. it. It makes me feel good about myself. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe. That way I can get better content out for you guys. Because I'll get paid and I can get ads. And then I can have better content for you guys to to peep your ear holes and eye holes too. Uh, so see you guys next time. And peace.